Welcome to Eck Family Adventures in Italy. <laughs> Welcome to Eck Family Adventures. Where are we? I don't do my hands. We're in, just put them down. So we're definitely we're in, in Italy. We're visiting Rome for four days. We're really excited. We're gonna see some stuff that we didn't see last time. We're gonna roam around Rome. We are. We're going to Rome. That sounds stupid. Rome. No, oh. that should be the name of our uh, Roaming, the title. The roaming title. around Rome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we're just gonna relax as much as we can with four screaming kids. <laughs> we fight constantly. It's fine. It's fine. All right. It's fine. Let's go. All right, we're headed to a Capuchin monastery. Uh, where they, they started burying people in this crypt in the mid 1600s and made a bunch of art out of it So it's pretty pretty neat. So we're gonna go check it out We tried to go a place similar to this in Milan, but it was a complete disaster and we got there and they closed the doors on us So <laughs> so hopefully this is a better experience Look at the butter beard. Show daddy your butter beard. <laughs> go, Ruby, go. Go, Ruby, go. Keep go, going, Ruby. run, run, run. I believe in you. Hi. I can do it. TV cribs. Just kidding. Sorry. Okay. In the video, notice the furniture. I love the furnishings. One major flaw of this apartment is this lady walking us, <laughs> walking us home every single day. A little creepy. Liam says that her eyes are following him. I wanna, I wanna take this home with me. <laughs> this is so. And here's like a little living area. Look at the chandelier. It's super cute. It's adorable. I love the tall ceilings. This is where the girls are sleeping. This is adorable. Look at these windows. So cute. The beds are nice and firm, European style. You could literally bounce a quarter off of them. Here's our room. And of course, notice all of the children. They gather in our bedroom. I, I don't. I don't know what. I'm thinking about messaging the Airbnb host. <laughs> How much does she want for this? How much? How am I gonna get this home? Because this is so pretty. We have your own terrace. This is walk through here. You wash your clothes. It doesn't. It's not equipped with a dryer, but that's fine. It comes with a clothesline. You dry your clothes. <laughs> Super cute. We'll see at nighttime how quiet it is. Hopefully the street noise isn't too loud, but we bring fans everywhere we go, just in case. So yeah, I love it. Super cute. 
do it. That's how they do it in Europe. <laughs> no car seats. It's fine. Headed to the St. Peter's Basilica <laughs> in a taxi. It's fun. <laughs> So normally coming to St. Peter's Basilica, you'd have a ton of tourists fill on that spot there. And then going through all of these different lines, but all we have today is this. Yeah, but normally we would have a lot more people to contend with, but because of uh, the pandemic and tourism's not really booming right now, we get the Basilica with uh, these few people. I'm in the dome of the St. Peter's Basilica. Are you gonna record me? Show me how out of shape I am. Yes. It's a false summit. We thought we were almost at the top. <laughs> All right, we can do this. Quick. Uh, you're don't, not getting dizzy. Don't think about the it. The walls are actually slanted. You're claustrophobic. Because we're getting to the top of the dome. Oh yeah. More stairs. More stairs. <laughs> we're at the top of the St. Peter's Basilica. <laughs> That was worth the climb. There's a lot of steps. Very dizzy. It was <laughs> Are you ready to go fun? back now? <laughs> I'll go back. I'll go back. <laughs> Consensus is to leave. Yep, let's go. Oh my gosh. It is really tight. This is like, sorry, right, come here. <laughs> oh, you okay. I just want my. All right. You can do it? Yes, I can. I think that's a big right. step for me. Mama step. At this point, it's going to take us 847 years to descend. <laughs> what type of car? We are going to a park that you can ride on ponies. Is that true? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Steering, steering. Uh, okay. Can actually steer. No, no, not that way. This is the worst idea we've ever Go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. Right there. Yes. Okay. Yep. Steer it. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let your. Here's Landon driving for the first time.
to ride the scooters. Yeah, we're gonna go over to the Coliseum and see what it looks like in the dark. I'm gonna lap around it. We made it. We made it to the Coliseum. Yeah. On the scooters. Mm -hmm. We made it alive too, which was even the best part. So many cars. So many cars. <laughs> this is the Coliseum at night. The Coliseum. This is what you miss out on when you don't come out and ride the scooters with the boys. <laughs> Ice cream. Well, and a crepe that's coming in a minute. Yep. All right. Day three at the Trevi Fountain, trying to get the perfect family photo. We got, we're in Rome with the Runyons, starring the Runyons. Is this live? This is live. Live on YouTube. Right, go ahead. Ruby, throw it. What are you doing? Throw it, throw it. That's free money, man. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Here we are at the Spanish Steps. Yeah. Not a whole lot of people here, which is nice. We, we came here when there were uh, a pretty large group and then everyone just kind of scattered. Yeah. It was pretty awesome. But when we were here in, December, in January of 2020, we couldn't even get the step. We couldn't get on the steps and take a picture because there were so many people. Yeah. It was insane. We're gonna go to the next place. All right, so last time we were in Rome, we were able to do the Colosseum, but we skipped the, the Roman Forum in Palatine Hill, because uh, we had the little girls, and um, I'm, sure there were, I'm sure there were a million people here, so we skipped it, and uh, so this time we came back, just me and the boys took some scooters. Mm -hmm. We're walking around the old ruins of Rome and kind of seeing the, the old structures or what's left of them. Palatine Hill, not a whole lot to see. Not a lot of intact ruins, but I guess that's why they call them ruins, because they're ruined. So, it's still interesting though. Most unafraid seagull I've ever met in my entire life. Like, isn't scared of nothing. Round two. And I got some too. How do I look? <laughs> Even Landy got in the action. This is the Roman Forum. It's like the old downtown ancient Rome. Anyway, we're gonna go down there and explore a little bit. And over here you have you have the Colosseum. in Europe can you sit on 2,000 year old artifacts. Pillars over here. Liam playing with something over there. Overall successful time at the, the Roman Forum. Yep. 
Now we're gonna jump on some scooters and head back to the apartment. So we had a successful trip to Rome. So on our way home, we stopped at a little town called Orvieto that sits up on a little cliff up on a hilltop. So we're, uh, we've, we've passed by it a few times on the way to Rome and other places. So decided to finally stop and do a little day trip here. I don't know much about it. Other than what Rick Steve says on YouTube. Yeah. But I'm sure it looks I'm sure it's. Fine. I'm sure it's gonna be super cute. It's a good way to break up the trip back home. Yeah, here we go. I love buying local honey. So delicious. Why our son is carrying a, ju a jumbo size marker around with him. I like it. I you like want to do Copper teapot. He wanted 35 for it. I talked him down to 25 euros. I love it. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but um, uh, seriously, this is beautiful for 25 euros. Sold. Sold! I was very happy. A pretty successful weekend in Rome and Orvieto. Right? Yep. Okay, we survived. Four We're kids. Toy. We're parenting. Four parenting kids. win. <laughs> No one died. We're all going back home safely. Oh dear, you alright? So make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel or else. I'm just joking. We'll come and find you. <laughs> Lana says we'll come and find you. No, no.